know who I am. My name is Deja, like Deja Vu. I don't like that, so you can call me Deja True. And welcome to my channel. If you not have not done so already, please subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time that I post. And comment down below within the video if you have any questions or any suggestions. I love it. Welcome back, True Gang. So right into the video. By the title, you can already tell what this video is about. But I gotta get something off my chest. I recorded this video earlier when there wasn't a stain on my shirt. I recorded this video earlier, edited it, really had it looking fantastic, and my song said that I needed to clear out space. So what did I do? I began to delete stuff, delete stuff, go to my recent delete, delete stuff, and I accidentally delete the freaking video. Therefore, the first video that I recorded got deleted, but I had to get that off my chest to let y'all know that I'm really serious about this thing. True gang come through because I'm recording a second video within the same day when I already edited the other video. Oh, mother, your brother, your sister, your auntie, and your cousin because baby D is coming with it, period. Anyways, right into the questions now. Number one, not a question, but I love you. That's from my best friend. I love you too. Number two, can I have no L? That is from her Titi Sally. No, you cannot have my baby, but you can watch her anytime that we come to Florida or when you come to Georgia. Number three, when Noli, Noel gets old enough, y'all should do a mommy and baby mukbang for sure. Because if we're not doing duos, then what, what am I really doing in life? Period. Number four, did you pee on yourself? So, might as well go ahead and do this little disclaimer. TMI, if you don't want to hear about, you know, mommy things, then go ahead and click off of this video, even though it's not going to be that explicit. So, honestly, you can stay if you're not a little crybaby. Anyways, um, I don't know if the accident if it, did I pee on myself while I was pregnant, while I was in labor, or after pregnancy, but I'm just gonna answer all three. So, one, while I was pregnant, I did not pee on myself, but every time I got to the freaking door, like, it, I instantly have to pee. So, I was always running to the toilet whenever I was like at somebody's door. Um, Every time I did something, when I made it to like the door, I instantly had to pee. Um, while I was in labor, I actually did not. I actually was able to get up, move, go to the bathroom, and then eventually I ended up putting a catheter inside of me. So I wasn't, I didn't know when I was peeing. And then after birth, <laughs> actually, yeah, I did. Um, after this, the second day, I was getting up to go to the bathroom and I had all type of stuff in me. Like I had the needle still in my back from the upper girl. Um, I had just had surgery, so I was moving like, oh, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, come on, moving slow, and I was trying to go faster, but I couldn't go faster, so I ended up peeing on myself, and the nurse said, she was literally right there, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I was so embarrassed, but at the same time, I kept telling them, like, can I take a shower? Can I take a shower? I need to take a shower. Can I take a shower? And they was just putting it off. So once I peed on myself, it was like, yeah, you can get in the shower now. So I kind of got my way, but yeah, after I gave birth, that one time I did pee on myself. After that, no. Number five, how did you know you were pregnant? So one night, me and the father of my child was chilling, and I got up randomly and ate a corn, ate a spoonful of cornstarch. Let him nasty. I did it. I ain't proud, but I did it. So next morning, I got up, and I randomly just got a pregnancy test and took it because I had it laying around from one of my <coughs> previous friends' pregnancy tests. Of course, I had it, so I took it. It's a little clear blue one. I threw it in the trash can. Like, let me just pee on the thing, on. Mind you, I had not even. It's, I wasn't even necessarily late on my period or nothing like that. But I just took it because I'm like, what am I doing eating cornstarch? Like, if you eating cornstarch, what are you really doing? So, anyways, I took it, threw it in the trash can. Was still on the phone with the father of my child, and I walked. I walked away, then came back in the bathroom, I think, to eventually start getting ready for my day. And I looked in the trash can. I always saw it was one word. I'm like, that should be two. It should say not pregnant. <laughs> but it didn't accept pregnancy. So I ran to Walmart, grabbed four more pregnancy tests, took in all of them saying pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. And pregnant. You are pregnant, girl. Pregnant. 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 
No. <laughs> no. She, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. That's how I found out. It wasn't like I was having any symptoms. Six, did you have postpartum depression? And I did. A lot of people don't like to talk about this, but honestly, yes, I did have postpartum depression because um, what people don't tell you is in your head when you're pregnant, I'm speaking really to first time moms, any second time mom, it don't matter. Mom in general when you're pregnant. In your head, you think that, oh, I'm going to have this baby. And after I have this baby, I'm going to be with her for like, I'm going to be with my child for a month and I'm going straight back to work and my life is going to get back on track. Sometimes that's not how it is. And the way the government and the way the system and the world are set up, child care services is a scam. <laughs> There's no way that child care should be no $1,500. Like, baby, that's rent. No, what we're not going to do. Or an offense to do is play. So yeah, honestly, that was me. I, I've always been an independent woman. I've always been a go getter. I always had my own. I always depended on nobody but myself. You know, I got help from people here and there. And I go sit up here and play and act like I got everything from just doing me. No, I needed help along the way. But for the most part, I got everything by myself. Me and Jesus. That's it. That's all. So, with me having to depend on other people to help me and to support me, that was really a struggle for me. Also, with um, my body, I did not feel secure and uh, confident in who I was anymore because my body had not shifted back to how it is or how it was pre-pregnancy. So, but that's another video that I'm going to dip with the things that I dealt with because I actually did write a lot during that time to just um, keep keep notes and keep track of it. But on to question number seven, natural C-section. I honestly say that I went through both. The reason why I say that because I was in labor for two days without an epidural. I actually was in labor. I had that little shot thing, but everybody... That knows that shot, they give you that shot only last hour. You can only get it like three times. I got it two times. After the second time, it did not work. So honestly, I was in labor for two days. I went to the hospital Tuesday afternoon. I was in there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning. I ended up having her. And then some things happen. Uh, and I end up having to get a C-section, but <laughs> I'm going to keep saying this. That's going to be in another video. And I'm going to keep saying that because a lot of videos that I do, it will be different topics um involving my c-section my birth story postpartum depression a bunch of stuff this is really just a rundown from when i posted on my instagram about a week ago um for questions so we're just gonna go ahead and get to the next question number eight how is breastfeeding honestly it's great it's what helped me with losing a lot of my pregnancy weight um, and I'm still losing weight and honestly, I don't work out. I don't do any type of extra activities besides dancing really. And that's, that's even here and there, like that's not even a lot now. Um, but I love it. Honestly, it's convenient. Like it's healthy for you and your child. Like my baby is, I feel like she's very healthy and she's very like advanced and smart because she is getting nothing but the nutrients from breast milk. There's no added um uh formula there's nothing she's strictly breastfed now i'm starting to put her on cereal so she can sleep a little longer throughout the night but other than that she's all natural like just like her mama let me stop and i Question number nine, what is the scariest thing about giving birth? The scariest thing about giving birth, I would have to say, is not knowing what's going to happen and how long the process is. Because anybody know me, in the beginning of my pregnancy, the entire time I was pregnant, I kept saying, I do not want to have a C-section. I don't want a C-section. I don't want a C-section. Jesus, no C-section. Please, no C-section. I'm going to do all natural. But God knows everything happens for a reason. You cannot control your birth story. Everybody's birth story is different. Everyone's body, every woman's body is different. So for me, it was really not knowing when it was going to be over. Like I said, I went to, I went into the hospital Tuesday afternoon and I did not leave until Monday the following week. Like you never know what's going to happen. I, I was healthy as a hot ox. Whoa. <laughs> I was 
healthy my entire pregnancy. I had no major complications, none of that. Healthy pregnancy, the only thing I had was probably like cysts, but that's normal during pregnancy. And I had extra fluid, but like I said, that's normal during pregnancy. So I had no signs that showed that I would have to have a C-section. So honestly, for me, that's the, that was the scariest thing. You just don't know. Like you're pregnant, you're, you, you could have complications your entire pregnancy and still deliver natural. Like it just depends on... You know, your body, and it depends on what God has in store for you, period. 10, what was your reaction when you first saw no L? Mm, I cried. I cried, and I cried. They pulled her out. And honestly, I was like, Ooh. And then, like, in my head, I'm like, dang, I got a white baby. <laughs> I got a white baby, but she's not white. She's mixed with black and Puerto Rican. And her Puerto Rican genes are just strong right now. That's all that is. Um, but yeah, honestly, I cried and I will insert some pictures or videos, whichever ones I can find of uh, me and her whenever she was first born. And don't be ooh, excuse me, judgmental because baby girl was hurt, but I will insert the pictures right now. Okay, so who did you tell first that you were pregnant? Clearly, I was on the phone with the father of my child, and then the other person doesn't matter because she's no longer in my life. Cut, cut, snip, snip. Uh -huh. And then after that, it was the grandparents. 12. How do you feel about your body giving birth? Like I said, um, it's not perfect, but it is getting there. It's not getting into perfect, but it's getting back snatched to how it was. I don't know if in the video you'll be able to see. But it's slimming down, and I actually don't have on um, any type of waist trainer or girdle. So I still have a little love handles, and I still have a little punch. But for the most part, like, I'm slimming out. And I can honestly say that is from breastfeeding because, like I said, I don't be doing nothing else. Okay, question number 13. What is the most difficult thing about being pregnant? <laughs> for me, you know what I mean? I ain't wasn't able to... Uh, uh, uh. The most difficult part about being pregnant, baby, was you get put on pause, stop, hold, mm, you can't do this, you can't do that. What you want to do? But sit your tail down at the house, chill, and keep it, keep it G. You feel me? Um, that was just bad. Like honestly, just having to slow down, stop, and really think. Like, dang, I'm about to bring a child into this earth. Like, it's. You sit down and think about it, it's really deep. Like, you go from care from yourself and yourself only to now having to care for another human being for the rest of your life. Like, like it's, it's a lot to take in. For me, it was like, I was really, I felt like personally, I was at that point to where I really was kept going up, kept going up, and I had a lot of stuff going for myself. And then to end up pregnant, it was kind of like, whoa whoa slow down think take your time um so yeah for me it was really just that automatic like you just you pretty much just in your thoughts and you put your life on pause to really be the best mother what is your advice to any new mom rest ask for help when you need it and um first time moms don't buy a lot of newborn stuff because your baby is most definitely going to grow out super fast. So when you have a baby shower, make sure that you tell folks to buy you size 0 months up to 12. Like, the same with diapers. They grow newborns so, 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 so fast. That's another tip for later on. So number 15, how much weight did you gain during pregnancy? Uh -huh. yeah, I gained 65 pounds while I was pregnant. Um, I believe 65. After 65, I stopped counting. I was like, y'all doing too much. You're being negative. That's what you're doing. 
Yeah, so I gained 65 pounds, but a lot of my weight came from, it was baby weight and I had a lot of extra food because after I gave birth, literally four days after, um, I was already, uh, I had already lost 35 pounds. So a bunch of my pregnancy weight was from extra fluid at the end and from the baby weight and like the, the I technically, uh, the weight that wasn't baby weight was only 10, 15 pounds. Like, I can't remember if it was 10 or 15. I believe it was technically like 13 pounds um, extra that I gained that wasn't from pregnancy. The rest of it really was from my boobs. Um, <clears throat> How do you get rid of morning sickness? Child, <laughs> you tell me. I wish I knew because I was free. I had morning sickness up until I was almost seven months pregnant. Like, I couldn't eat eggs. I like it with seafood. Everybody was like, oh, she was so I ate seafood because it was literally the only thing that I could keep down. Like, I don't even know if Noelle was going to like seafood because I ate it so much. But that was just me, you know. I, I And that's what I did. I'm sorry. I'm so parched. Like I said, I've already made this video. So my mouth is super dry. But that's all. Honestly, I just ran through these uh, questions. Uh, please, 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 please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, turn on my post notifications so you can be notified every single time that I post. And please comment any su suggestions. Follow all my social medias, which will be down in the description down below. Stay alert. Stay up so you'll know when I post. And of course, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't end it off with my baby being inside of it. So give me one moment and I'm back. Y'all wanna see what a healthy baby look like? And I whoop, oops, and I whoop. <laughs> so anyways, like I said again, thank you for all my true gang members, subscribers. Thank you, I appreciate you so much. Say hi to Noelle. And we'll be back again with another video, with another banger. That's how we roll. That's how we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Bye-bye.